<clears throat> yes, um, I'd like for you, sir, I, I can't, can't remember Basker. the name. Basker. Basker. Please expand higher taxes. <laughs> and please, could you make a counter offer as far as what you think higher taxes are? No one quantifies what are higher taxes. And I don't mean a rate, I mean a percentage. Are taxes going to go up 10%, 20%, 30%? Because if you say, oh, well, your tax rate will go up 3 or 4%, as a percentage of what? If you're paying 50%, 50 your taxes go up 5%. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, well, okay, so what I'm rate will taxes go up and will they be as progressive, progressive so, so, as they are now? So right now, let's say if you're talking about the immediate demands of a program like uh, Medicare for All, a large segment of the savings will be found in administrative savings and whatnot. But you can't have me cost, no, administrative savings from cutting billing departments and, and whatnot. I mean, this is, this is- and creating a bureaucracy. You already have a bureaucracy and exists. Yeah, so and by the way, most, most he's doing a disservice to most conservatives because most conservatives agree there's such a thing as certain- I am not a conservative. Well, most people on the right would agree the there's right. such a thing as as a, as a natural monopoly in certain sectors that, in fact, it makes sense to have a, a, a state monopoly on, 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 on roads, uh, uh, for instance, and so on. But my primary emphasis is about uh, power, uh, it is about kind of the, the question of, of how we transition from an economy driven by private capitalists and turning it into an economy driven by worker owners. But that, so, what is the taxes? So, so what, how much is it gonna so cost? It doesn't no, matter. A worker, a worker owned firm could in fact have a, a flat tax system of 20%. And you have, to, you have to decide, well, how big is the country, the hypothetical country you're talking about? How young is the population? What social services? If the country is older, then in fact, these firms might be, need to be taxed at a higher rate. I mean, this is, I mean, I mean. But who pays corporate right, tax? Uh, we pay corporate tax. The, the question's well taken. Let's hear so, Yaron's so, perspective on taxes. So it's not relevant here because under his system, there's no wealth being created. There's nothing to tax. It's true. We become much, much poorer. I'm not, I'm not joking. We become much, much poorer. The tax rate in Venezuela doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the tax rate is. Nobody has anything to pay the taxes with. Now the tax rate in some way like Sweden is excess of 50%, right? But it's less progressive than the United States. Indeed, Sweden is much more, it is much less progressive than the US because everybody pays taxes where in the US, there's a vast number of people who don't pay any taxes. But the, 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 the point really is that when you have a system that is, when you take away the incentive when you take away capitalism, when you take away capitalists, when you take away the, 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 the corporation, the business, the creation, you're not going to be left with much. We're not going to be left with much. So there's nothing to, to redistribute. There's nothing out there. Next question. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. <laughs> 